Hi everyone, I'm Semaganda Jojo of BGM Animal Breeding Farm. Thanks once again for joining us on our YouTube channel. Today I'm super, super excited because we received our breeding box from South Africa yesterday, but one. The reason why I have shot this short is to show you the procedures, the correct procedures for handling the new breeding stock or any new stock at your farm. Because usually when people stock the animal, Sometimes they lose appetite, they die, they meet a number of challenges. And in the end, they blame the breeder from where they got their stock. So what you should know is that during the process of transferring these animals, from where you have got them, let it be from here or from any other farm, they usually suffer from a shipping fever. They have got the immunity lowers. And in the due process, they are bit in case there was any problem within, they fall sick. At times they die. So what is the correct procedure when you have received one new stock from anywhere? First of all, you have first give them long acting oxy that's oxy twenty. Why? Oxy twenty that is a biostatic drug. It, it controls the amount or the level at which the, the, any disease in the body multiplies. And again, you should give them a shot of vitamin O or of vitamin. So, for us, we just gave these animals all vitamins reason being they are tired, they are from a very long journey, we, we, we never wanted to give them more pain. So, we gave them a shot of oxy 20 and all multivitamin. So, from here, after one week, when these animals have settled in, that's next week, we are going to give we're going to start vaccinating them. Because from where we got them, they don't have diseases like CCPP, OPPR, or pox. So, we must create the body awareness that in our country there is a certain disease called the PPR by vaccinating them, thereby boost, boosting their total or overall body immunity. So from next week we are going to give them PPR and pox that, that combined vaccine. After one week or two weeks, depending how, on how they react, we shall give them CCPP, then cross studio up to Brussels. Before we mix them to the old stock, because the other are already aware that such diseases are within the country, but this, this stock is still new. So if you don't earn them properly, you face a lot of problems. I'm repeating the procedures. We gave them Oxy-20 the moment they arrived here, which is a long-acting drug. We gave them 15 mils, and then we gave them 10 mils of multivitamin. The importance of multivitamin is to boost or to increase their body metabolism so they can eat. Because usually, when you, these animals are transferred from one place to another, they suffer from stress. And whenever an animal is stressed, stress lowers the immunity of the animal. So in case there was any disease within that animal, that disease would multiply so fast and you kill that animal. So that's why we give them that long-acting drug because it's a biostatic drug it doesn't allow any germs or viruses within the body to multiply so by the time these animals settle within this area they have already gained back their body immunity so they can eat so it's very good and it's very necessary when you bring in your new animals from anywhere you shouldn't mix them with the old ones because in the case there was any problem they can easily be spread in your old stock. Or in case there is any problem in the old stock, you can easily mix it with these ones. Even spraying, we spray these animals because they usually have some ticks. And if we allow their, their ticks from somewhere else or South Africa to mate with the ticks of this area, you produce another type of tick which may not be so easy to control. So this is the procedure. You must separate them. So that's we use the old dip. Give long acting oxy, which is oxy 20. Give multivitamins for body metabolism and then they settle in. We don't want to give so many injections because we shall be, they already have stress and then you give so many injections, you will be creating more pain and increase on the levels of the stress. So these animals, another thing, never stock animals before preparing feeds. We faced a lot of problems when we were starting. We stocked animals before and so much, you get so much love for the animals. Not knowing that these animals must be fed. So this time around, we are well prepared. We have our course Guyana here. Okay? We have our alpha alpha A. We have given them pellets. We have our sugar net. We have everything necessary, even spent grain. 
just a matter of teaching them. So before stocking your animals, it is very, very necessary that you prepare feeds before bringing in. That's what we call a master plan. You should have a master plan to follow. What comes first, followed by what and what next. So we spread the animals already. I've already given them long acting oxy, multivitamin. So we shall be doing that every week. For the first one and a half month, we shall be giving them long acting oxy and multivitamin. I have a friend of mine, a fellow farmer, who once told me that I can't have a pure bleed at the farm. I'm not saying this in bad heart, but at times, when you have a dream without goals, it's just, just a dream. So I, had a, I have a friend of mine whom I told about that one day I'm going to import pures. He told me that your goats are already dying. They're just closes. Why should you get a pure when you can't manage even a cross? I told him I have a dream and I have goals. I want to be among the pure breeders in Uganda and I want to be among the top breeders in the world. Maybe it was so big to him, that's why he never listened to me. But fellow farmers, if you have your dreams of becoming one of the best farmers or one of the best breeders in the world, at times it's unnecessary to tell it to some people. Because nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks, nothing. And for me what I know is that you learn a lot when you lose than when you win. Nelson Mandela once said, there's no passion to be found playing small and settling for life that's less than the one you are capable of living. I don't want to fall back on anything in life. You will meet some people who discourage you, some who tell you that you can't manage pures. You can't ma if locals can die, even pures can die. Anything which has life can die at any day or any time. All we need to do is to up our skills, keep on learning. How about those people who are doing this one? Did they come from heaven? Do not come from heaven. So if they are also human like us, why not us? I want to encourage any farmer who's out there, who's having his local goats or crosses, that start with what you can. But it doesn't necessarily need you to first get a pure to learn how to handle it. Because the same procedures for handling the crosses are the same procedures for handling these ones. All the challenges we met earlier have just made us stronger. Because we know the same boiling water which softens the sweet potato is the same water which hardens an egg which may look weak. All the challenges we met last year in 2022... Because any farmer in Uganda, because of the too much rains we had, we experienced a lot of deaths, a lot of diseases, a lot of problems. But that can't stop us from succeeding. Because once you know what you want and you feel it and you are passionate about it and you are ready to take the risk, it is possible you can do it. And we are to encourage you. Whosoever lost the animals, don't be discouraged. Just correct yourself. Motivate yourself. Gain more knowledge. Be more prepared than before. We can succeed. And I know we can make it. Me, if I'm to fall, I don't want to fall backward or anything. If I'm to fall, I want to fall forward. Because in this way, I'll be able to see where I'm going to fall. And always remember, without consistency, you are not going to finish. So always do what you feel passionate about. Don't focus on money in animal farming. It's the passion for the animal that will later turn into profits. The problem people have, they are afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to fail big or to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams. Always remember, every failed experiment is one step closer to success. You have got to take risks. I am sure you have probably heard of it. You will fail at the, same, at the same point or at some point you will fail in your life. Accept it. You will lose. You will embarrass yourself. You will suck at something. There is no doubt about that. But just embrace it because it's inevitable. Never be discouraged. Never hold back. Give everything you got. And when you fall out of life, never fall backward. Fall forward. 
because we know that some of the most successful people in the world are those ones who have failed most times. But these people succeeded because they understood you can't let your failures define you. You have to let your failures teach you and you have to let them show you what differently the next time. So dear farmers, we can make it according to what I saw at Sinza Farms. I saw that people are so serious with farming and in three to four years to come, we shall, be not, we shall not be importing more bucks from abroad. We can produce them there. But let us be among those. Have that dream. Set those goals. It is possible. It is achievable. We can make it together. I saw great genetics being brought in in our country and I was so, so happy. You can see what people brought in. That's part of it. I saw how serious people are. So, never be afraid of those challenges. I want to take this opportunity to thank you all my viewers, those who have subscribed to my channel. If you are new here, please make it a point to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I want to thank my mentor, Miss Amanda. Thank you so much for the great work of inspiration you have done to our country. My bro, Hassan of Hasboa Farm, thank you so much.